What's up, fellas? So this is probably a video I should have made a long time ago, but I'm going to get into it right now. So got a guy that now he's getting choosing signals from women that rejected him in the past. So basically, this is like the old Mike Jones back then. They didn't want me. Now I'm hot. They all owe me. All right, guys. So and I'm, I'm going to keep this brief, right? That's why I hadn't done this video yet, but because it ain't a whole lot to unpack. But the situation with this guy is as simple as this. A lot of the times, the women start sending you choosing signals after you done did the self-improvement. It's going to be because you guys don't know how much it improves your confidence, your swag. For all y'all guys saying, well, damn, how the hell can they see that? Guys, have y'all guys ever seen a basketball player on the court who was going through like a little slump or a baseball player? Then you kind of see how they kind of like, you know, they kind of, they body language, they look unconfident, like they just out of their game. And have y'all guys seen when a basketball player just sit there, he just think he the, he the man, he think he the shit. Have y'all ever seen that? Y'all ever guys ever seen how Steph Curry sometimes when he be hot, how he be doing all this, how he just overconfident and cocky and he just like doing all this and that other. Or like when you see a football player, when he know what he man, he kind of stress out to the field like this. And then you see a you know a guy who done missed his last, like say he in a five game slump, he's shooting 25% uh, from the field. And you can just see it in his body language. He's just unconfident, even if he's an all-star player, right? Guys, confidence shows in your body language. That is always gonna be the number one thing that attracts women. Always. Unless, you know, that's just takes status out of it, right? Just for the average guy, confidence is always going to be. Like I tell you guys, I don't care how you get the confidence, as long as you get the confidence. The thing is, you just want to make sure that's what attracted them and not say you making some money now. Now, we fuck those hoes too. The difference is, I don't want you going trying to wife one of them hoes right there. That's the issue. Because that's when you're going to get burnt. For all my purple pill brothers. I don't want you getting in some serious or you know, getting married or even in a relationship and catching feelings and getting attached to a woman who only got with you because your finances increased. Alright? I want her to get with you because your swagger increased and maybe that swagger came from you doing the self-improvement. Who fuck knows? I don't it don't matter. It came from doing that, and so she's with you. Like I tell you guys, you can always tell by how she is with you. If you're with a woman that's with you for anything monetarily, she gonna have a tendency to talk about how the job is going, how the contract. So like me having my own security company in New York, when I was with women who viewed me as a beta male provider, they was always just curious to wanna know how the business was doing. Ain't that nice? They just some curious motherfucker. They just, at the counters of their heart, they just want to know how business doing. How, any, any new contracts? Oh, ain't that nice? They just, they just curious about the businesses. I, I'm quite sure they had nothing to do with them viewing me as a beta male provider. The women who was with me for me, for my swagger and my confidence, and maybe they was physically attracted to me, never asked a question about my business. Ever. They never asked a question. The only thing they wanted to know is how many licks does it get to the <laughs> to the Tootsie Roll of a Tootsie Pop? That's what they wanted to know. How many licks before he come? That's what they was concerned with. So you can always tell when a woman is with you for you and when a woman is with you because she views you as a beta male provider. Like I tell you, we fuck those hoes too. I'm just saying you don't want to get in a relationship with them. So for all my guys on here that's doing the self-improvement and you're going to start getting choosing signals and things like this here from women that rejected you or ignored you in the past, assume that it's, you know, from the swagger, the confidence that you're getting from doing the self-improvement. If it's a girl that you see asks you a lot of business questions, she just cares about your business so much. I'm quite sure it has... She has a good reason for caring about, you know, did you get that new contract? You ever thought about doing the business over here? You always get those kind of questions from women who view you as a beta male provider. Beside the fact that, you know, 
They never initiate sex and things like that. You don't get blowjobs. And they do the bare minimum. Women who view you as an alpha male, got women who are attracted to you from your confidence, all right, and your swagger, those are going to be the ones that are going to be all over you, affectionate and everything. You can't keep them off of you. Always want to have sex, always initiating sex, all that type of stuff. And they, from my experience, when I dealt with women like that, they never seem to care about my business, ever. Ever seen to care about my business? What happens is you have a lot of beta males. They'll f fucking ruin it by thinking that they need to talk about their business. And when you do that, guys, when you when you with a woman like that and you talk about your, she will start to view you as a beta male. I've made that mistake in the past too. Women view me as an alpha male, and I'm sitting up here talking about, yeah, you know, I got this going on and that, thinking that, oh, you know, I'm trying to. When I had to do nothing. But like I tell you guys, my wisdom comes from making a whole bunch of mistakes. I did not come out my mama pussy a fucking alpha male. I came out a beta male just like the fucking rest of y'all. Putting pussy on a fucking pedestal. Made a fucking lot of mistakes and learned from them. That's where my wisdom comes from. Okay, guys? But yes, you're going to start getting choosing signals once you do the self-improvement. But 90, I would say at least 90% of the time, it's going to be from the swagger. It will... Listen, it will sometimes, the money, like I told you guys, I had improved the girl, my, the girls that had me in the friend zone, I told y'all guys about this, all of a sudden, they, all of a sudden they want to fuck now because they thought I was making some money because I went and took that little income tax and bought, bought some little dumb shit and they thinking like I'm balling or something now. So, yes, but I was not dumb enough to think like all of a sudden they love me or they was, a, uh, they want to, like, are they going to be my girlfriend? No. No, I was in the friend zone when I you thought I was broke and I'm still broke, but you think I got some money and now you gonna give me some pussy? You think I'm gonna get in a relationship with some shit like that? Hell fucking no. So just treat it like that, guys. Alright. Alright, I'll get back with you guys later.